So essentially, I was in here getting pop, um, and then you know, just kind of get that feeling of summer. This is kind of a storage area. Yeah, it's where we keep all our pop in the summer. So I mean, just you know, lots of pop and stuff here, and the, the plastic crates like we have here. Um, you know, I just felt some kind of goofy, and then right out, I mean, probably three, four bulkheads down, right where it starts to get dark there. Uh -huh. like, you know, the two light areas and then the dark one. That is where I did see, you know, the guy, and I'm talking. Big white beard, I mean the whole nine yards as far as the old sailor garden. Um, I think it was a, like a dark blue jacket with a dark gray, you know, undershirt. Um, and I want to say it was a darker gray hat and it was creepy to say the least. Yeah, especially the, the now what did, did he do anything or what happened once you saw him? Basically, you know, I just looked up and it was kind of one of those things like you kind of lock eyes with someone and mm -hmm. it was, you know, for a couple seconds and then kind of looked at me and I looked down and looked up again to make sure I wasn't seeing things. And well, there he still was, and then he looked at me again, and then he took two steps this way, and then he was gone. Um, there is down there um, a ladder that goes into, uh, down in the cargo hold, so I think that's where he was. I haven't actually been down there really investigated a whole lot since then, but, um, I, you know, I, that's kind of where I believe he went to. Okay. Um, which would be out into the holder up onto the deck of the boat from there. Well, hopefully we'll be able to find him. Yeah, hopefully.